Welcome to the Cobalt Wallet tutorial. Cobalt is a secure and easy to use Web3 wallet for the Horizon ecosystem and all EVM compatible chains. It supports ERC20 tokens, NFTs, Horizon's native cryptocurrency Zen, and tokens created on the Horizon sidechains. Cobalt also allows you to easily connect to different EVM compatible networks and Horizon sidechains. In this video, we will show you how to set up your Cobalt wallet, import a new token, add a custom network, as well as receive and send some tokens. First, download the Cobalt wallet from the Chrome store. You can pin it to your browser for easy access in the future. Choose a strong password to protect your wallet. You can choose a password generator to make your passwords as random as possible. Click Create Wallet. You'll see a list of Horizon blockchains for you to choose from. Today we will create a wallet on Horizon Eon. It's an EVM compatible chain on Horizon. It's currently on Gobi Testnet. Create your wallet name. A 12 word seed phrase will be generated. Do not store this on your computer. Write it down and keep it in a safe place. Now go to the Horizon Test Token Faucet to request some test zen. When you use COBOL on mainnet environment, you'll need real zen for gas fees. Make sure Gobi Testnet is selected. Copy and paste your wallet address to get the test tokens. You can check on the Block Explorer to see your test token transaction. Meanwhile, we have already received some ERC20 tokens. First, you need to import the token. Find the token contract address on Gobi Explorer. On COBOL, click Import a Token. Paste the token contract address, click Import. Then the token you've received will show up under your Assets tab. Now, let's connect to a different network. Let's connect to Mumbai as an example in this tutorial. First, make sure you have all the basic chain information about the Mumbai network ready. You can find it on Google. Go to Settings, click on Manage Networks, and then Add Custom Network. Enter the network information, such as the network name, the chain ID, the RPC URL, and the Block Explorer URL. You can even assign a color that you like for the network to make it more easily identifiable. And click Submit. It's that easy. Let's go back to COBOL to send some tokens. Click on the token you want to send, in this case, the Love token, paste the address you want to send the tokens to, Enter your password, and the tokens are sent. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You can find the written version of Cobalt User Guide in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and hit the subscribe button for future tutorials.